everyone this is your kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get started problem solve x square minus x y into t y plus y square dx equals to zero solution given differential equation x square minus xy into dy plus y square dx equals to 0. Consider as equation 1. You can also rewrite it as y square dx plus x square minus xy into dy equals to 0, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two, we will get m y square and n equals to x square minus x y. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. Do m by do y equals to do by do y of or m equals to y square. This equals to partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y. Do n by do x equals to do by do x so for n equals to x square minus x y since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so y will be treated as constant this is equals to partial derivative of first term with respect to x minus partial derivative of second term with respect to x this is equals to partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x minus your y is constant so, you can write this as y into partial derivative of x with respect to x. This equals to 2x minus y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. This equals to 2x minus y. So, here it's clear that the partial derivative of n with respect to y is not equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, Partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. We got dou m by dou y equals 2y and dou n by dou x is 2x minus y. So, these two are not equal, right? So, from this we can say that one is non exact now, we'll check whether the given equation is homogeneous or not. Now, consider the given equation. x square minus xy dy plus y square dx equals to 0. Then, x square minus xy into dy equals to minus y square dx. Then dy by dx equals to minus y square by x square minus xy. So this is in dy by dx equals to some function of xy form. Let function of xy equals to minus y square by x square minus x y. If f of kx ky equals to f of x y, then we can say that this function is homogeneous. If the differential equation contains homogeneous function, then we can say that the differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. No.
f of kx ky equals to 4x equals to kx and y equals to ky. Simply replace x by kx and y by ky in f of xy then we will get f of kx ky equals to minus ky whole square by kx whole square minus kx into ky is equals to minus ky whole square can be written as k square y square by kx whole square can be written as k square x square minus k into k k square into xy is equals to k square times minus y square by take k square common from the two terms of denominator k square of x square minus xy so here k square gets cancelled which is equals to minus y square by x square minus xy which is a function of xy therefore function of kx ky equals to function of x from this we can say that this function is homogeneous since the differential equation involves a homogeneous function so we can call this differential equation as homogeneous differential equation so we are given a non-exact and homogeneous equation now find mx plus ny mx plus ny equals to for m equals to y square into x plus n x square minus xy into y this is equals to xy square plus x square y plus into minus minus x y into y x y square here plus x y square and minus x y square gets cancelled this is equals to x square y which is not equals to zero since the given equation is non-exact and it's homogeneous and also mx plus ny is not equals to zero so here the integrating factor will be one by mx plus ny which is equal to one by x square y so now we are going to reduce the given equation to x at by multiplying it with the suitable integrating factor 1 by x square y into given equation y square dx plus x square minus x y into dy equals to 0 consider it as equation 2 then y square by x square y dx plus x square minus x y y x square y into dy equals to 0 here 1 by gets cancelled then 1 by x square dx plus since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so you can split the total expression into two terms x square by x square y minus x y by x square y into dy equals to 0 x square gets cancelled, 1x gets cancelled, y gets cancelled. This becomes y by x square dx plus 
1 by y minus 1 by x into dy equals to 0. So we have reduced the given equation in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. Now comparing it with m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0. So this becomes an exact equation. Okay, We'll see whether it is exact or not. Here m1 and n1 are functions of x and y. Where by comparing these two, we'll get m1 equals to y by x square and n1 equals to 1 by y minus 1 by x. Now let's find the partial derivative of m, m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. If the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x, then we can say that the reduced equation is an exact equation or equation 2 is an exact equation. Do m1 by do y equals to do by do y of for m1 y by x square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here 1 by x square is treated as constant is equal to 1 by x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is equal to 1 by x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1. This is equal to 1 by x square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Do n1 by do x equals to do by do x or for n1 1 by y minus 1 by x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so here y will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term minus, minus partial derivative of second term. This equals to partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of 1 by x with respect to x is minus 1 by x squared. Is equals to minus into minus plus 1 by x squared. So it's clear that the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Therefore, therefore, do m1 by do y is equals to do n1 by do x. From this we can say that the reduced equation, that is equation 2, is exact. Right. So we have reduced the given equation to an exact equation. Now, we need to find the general solution of 1. So, the general solution of the reduced exact equation will be the general solution of 1, right? We know that the general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x m1 dx plus integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy equals to constant. So this is our exact equation, right? Which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. So we are having m1, which is a function of xy and 1 function of xy. Since we are having m1 and n1 in our exact equation, so we'll use m1 and n1 in the formula. Right. Now let's find, consider the first integral. Here we'll be integrating m1 with respect to x, treating y as constant.
is equals to integral for m1 y by x square into tx. Let's write the constant outside the integral. We get y into integral 1 by x square dx is equals to y into 1 by, we know that 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n. So you can write 1 by x square as x power minus 2 into dx is equals to y into x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 is equals to y into x power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. This is equal to minus y by x. Minus y by x. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n1 free from x into d. Why we are having n1 equals to 1 by y minus 1 by x. The terms which does not involve x is 1 by y. So this is equal to integral of terms of n1 free from x is 1 by y into dy. Integral 1 by y dy is log mod y. Now coming to the general solution of the given equation. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral minus y by x plus result obtained from the second integral log mod y equals to c. Or you can also write this as log mod y minus y by x equals to c. Fine. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.